What is up? Welcome to part two of four 4x4 four four tips. The second tip that I've got is for edge pairing, and this is something that I think could be effective in 3-2-3 three, three pairing. So the way it works is you do your first, we'll use this cube first. So you do like your first slice, and then you look for this edge. This one's already here. Moving on to the next one. So this will work for the second edge. For the third edge, it doesn't, you don't really get this case. So we want to bring the orange blue wing to here and it's over here. So the way 4x4 solvers might normally do this is like that and then rotate or maybe this and then rotate or maybe rotate and then that and then another rotation like I don't know there's there's all sorts of things you can do but a really nice solution for bringing this edge over to here so kind of like that but of course without messing up the centers in that way you could do R prime F R to U R prime F prime and that works out really nicely. It's just a nice little five move trigger. I'm messing it up at the moment, but as you can imagine, probably faster than that. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not, but no, it, it is probably faster that way. And this is for like slicing with a U and then ending with a U prime. So if you slice starting with U, you can get that five mover and then just finish like normal. Whereas if you have this version, so we start with wide U prime, and then this blue orange is our first edge, and now we're looking for yellow and orange. So now this one's here. I wouldn't really recommend doing the five mover. I think a more finger trick friendly way to get this edge to here like this, would be doing something like R prime F, R two U prime, R two prime, F prime R, like that. So again, instead of doing something like this, or I don't know, like that, which I mean, like, some of those aren't too bad, but again, that is just like, so nice. So that's how you would do it if you're starting with the, like a wide U prime, got this edge, looking for this one, and then looking for this one, and then slicing over like that. So that's the second of the four 4x4 tips. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for part three.